Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dr. Shadow. You never know the best hair. On Mankind Month again, we got another Mankind. This is a Mankind. This is a can for a man. I'm a man. This is a can. Trust me, boxes are cans now. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, Mankins are a monthly box done by Iraq Veteran 8888, another YouTube channel, gun themed. It's pretty much just a gun themed loot crate kind of thing, except with other things, because he's, you know, smaller than loot crate, obviously. He's a YouTube channel. He's got quite a lot of subscribers, but still, YouTube channel. So this is a more of an independent thing. Very low kind of runs, like, they, they do run out and sell out most months. And this especially sold out pretty fast. This month is EDC, and also, very special thing this month, this is the first month that they started the Man Up program, where the base man can, $30 plus $8.50 shipping, but you could man up and go, boom, $30 more, $60 can, plus $8.50 shipping, or Mega Man Up, $100 can, plus $8.50 shipping. I Mega man up, yeah. And so, you had no idea what was in it beforehand. But, nevertheless, we can pop this baby open, see what it is all we got. Shaboom. And yes, this is pretty nice. This is, I'm going to save that for a little bit later. I know what's in it, I saw. But for the regular Man Up, the regular $30 thing, you got the key bar. Now, I'm not exactly a huge super fan of the key bar, but, you know, key bar is a nice thing. It's worth 45 bucks, so considering there's only 30 bucks more to get a key bar, not bad. And, yeah, they do have the little super cheap versions that you can get on m and Amazons for, like, a 10 bucks. But I've seen the reviews on those on m and Amazon, and they're saying that they fall apart after two months at most. So, yeah, not exactly... A super high thing. But yeah, EDC is everyday carry. For those who don't know, aren't in the know, aren't into the big gunny gunny things. Everyday carry is just the idea that, hey, you know, you got your concealed carry in case you get into any kind of fight out there. But you always, it's n you never have it when you need it. So you yeah, everyday carry. And that way, whenever something like that happens, you know that you got your stuff with you. Carry every single day, even if you're just going to Walmart, but not with the AK across your back, because then you're just a dick. Like that. Anyway, cold mind. You're messing with my EDCs. I'm trying to... Anyway, we got our soap, our fight soap, as per usual. We got a little Damascus steel kind of thing going there. Don't know what the smell is. Soapy. A soapy smell. Very light kind of thing. Kind of the uh, little texture, if you can see in the shine of the light. Looks like it's maybe, it, it's, it's a slightly sweet, not really like sugary kind of thing, but yeah, come on, that, that smells okay. What do you think? Tara, what do you think of that smell? <laughs> smells like soap, don't it? Okay. So it's a nice, you know, slightly sweet little soapy smell. Ah, here we have a bag, and inside this bag, we have another bag. And inside this bag, well, nothing, but this bag is intended to hold stuff. Yeah, it's not bad, it's got a little uh, elastic part so you can kind of slide things in there. Little pockets for stuff. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a... Uh, not too thin. It doesn't feel like it would fall apart too quickly. Of course, using it every single day, yeah, it probably would. Probably would fall apart. But, oh well. Still a pretty nice little setup here. That's it. I'm trying to see, is that like a... Yeah, that comes up. And it does go back together. I didn't just break it. That comes up. And then, right there. Yay! And this box came with a fruit cat. Isn't that a kitty cat? That's a terror girl. And that is a giant Koban. He is getting bigger every single time. He is bigger than Terra now. And Koban, you really shouldn't be playing near the knives. I understand paper. Cats love paper. Now, Terra, you don't mind. I, I need what your butt's on. I need it. Terra, your butt is on my man can stuff. What do you, what? I gotta pull this out of your butt. Ah. Okay, we got some poop. We got the pocket dump patch. 
EDC is another uh, one of the cans where they did technically do this can before, but before, you know, it was uh, very early on. I wasn't doing the unboxings yet. Why is this fighting over paper, huh? Ow, watch your claws go on. But yeah, they had a challenge coin pocket dump. Now it's just a, pa a uh, little patch with the Velcro back. And you got the corn in it, you got the Iraq Veteran logo, pocket dump. It's a patch, it's a Bastion patch, you always get the Bastion patch, you know how it works by now. Now let me just try and get this, uh, trying to angle this down more. Okay. You kitty cats okay? Hold on, I moved the knife over there so you get away from it. Tara, get your butt out of the thing. <laughs> get your... Hey, hey, hey. Go to Tara. Just... I'm trying to... Okay. You nommer. Ah, you know, you're making this a lot harder than it has to be. Okay, really quick. S-clip. Simple little thing. You go to... And you clip it on one thing, and you have the thing. clips on the other side. You can clip this on things and clip other things on this thing, so things are clipped to things with an S-clip. It's a useful little thing. Uh, whoa, 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 cats. Why are you in fight mode today? This is... It's just, just going crazy on me. Anyway. Ah. Oh, I believe I know what this is. If I could open this without... No, little plastic bags like that crinkle really loud on camera. Not so much to me. Ah, ah yeah, here we go. This is a little... wallet-sized, card-sized, carry... Tool. If I can open this thing. Okay. So yeah, this is a simple little thing. You see it's got a... If I can focus... Got a little uh, ruler. God damn, focus with me. Focus. There. It's focusing in and out all the time. Okay, so you, got, you see you got the little ruler on there. You got the other ruler there. You got the little magnifying glass. You got the... Uh, Compass, which wakes, and on top of that has a few little tools attached to it, like a toothpick, that's a tool now, and tweezers, and got a little thing with a can slash bottle opener, little flathead screwdriver, little poke stabby thing, I have no idea. I could just get this back in there, that'd be great. Yeah, Koban, you can play with the foam all you like, just don't eat it. <laughs> and also, very nice little knife. Which, having it on a package this size, is okay. Also, that knife has a like little wrench set kind of thing in there to try and fit on. It's like, like three different sizes. Nice thing to have if you don't have anything else. But it also reminds me of something else that I have if I could... Oh, I left my wallet over there. Oh, my legs. Ugh. Other thing that I had for a while that I was kind of expecting to get in this because it's one of those very common things. And I knew EDC, I knew the kind of things you usually get. But, yeah, something I have. A little Wallet Ninja. This is like a little $10 thing. This is a little $15 thing. And this has all the different little things. Some work better than others. Like the cell phone stand. That doesn't work at all. Bottle opener works really well. Can opener technically works, but it's extremely painful. But the bonus with that is, you know, it's just this is extremely thin, the size of a credit card. I could just slip it like right in there. Boom, fits. Now this is a lot thicker, which is a problem. Because I'm thinking if I were to swip that swap that out there, would that fit in there? Eh, doesn't really close too well. Now if I were to say, hey, get that card out of there, slip it into one of the major car regular card slots, yeah, it doesn't even fit at all. So that's the problem. But if I say, hey, my one whole dollar, slide that over there, can I just slip this in where the cash goes? And Yeah, okay, that fits. That kind of fits. If it, you do it like that. Still a bit bulging, but it does fold down. So yeah, while this does have, a, you know, the knife, attached to it, which is really nice. There's the question of how 
easily this is carried. Even though it is credit card size, it is very thick. So, yeah. It's a trade-off. Ah, Coban, that's my, that's my what? You, you, you biter. You a nom. You a little nom or nom. Ow, ow, Coban, your claws, your claws. Get your claws out of my... Ah, jeez. Anyway. <sighs> oh, so much fun, so much fun. Always a calm, very well done. Nothing goes wrong at all in any of these videos. Oh, what do we got here? A uh, Wolf Hollow Tactical. Got a discount code coupon. What is this? 10% off your order. Expires the end of December. Wolf Hollow Tactical Custom Kydex Holsters. Okay. So, custom holster, 10% off coupon. Not bad, especially for an EDC kind of thing. Oh, 25% off everything at hazard4.com. See back of card for details. This has the code on it. Uh, one time prior to October 20th, 2016. So that's when that expires. Oh, come on, would you kitty cat stop fighting? 25% off code. Nice. Ah. Oh. Okay. And we got opticsplanet.com. 12% off code. I have no idea why you'd have an optic on your EDC. <laughs> That would be a pretty big thing to carry every day, but hey. And of course, we got our 10% off at Freedom Munitions. Well, not 10%, $10. $10 discount code at Freedom Munitions. Now, the thing is, it's a discount code. The first one said gift certificate, and they have a special, special uh, spot for gift certificates on freedommunitions.com, but that was also a discount code. You gotta go into the cart and into the order and then apply discount code and there it goes. Now the other thing, uh, I just recently went on Freedom Munitions because I was like, hey, I'm actually gonna use that. And I went and I was gonna apply the discount code and it was going so well and then it's like, hey, if this is your fir first order, you can get free shipping. And free shipping, I was like, okay, it applies that through a discount code. Now you can only have one discount code at a time. Koban, what the hell are you trying to hunt? You can only have one discount code at a time. And the free shipping was worth more than the $10 off. So it was like, well, damn. <laughs> so I still have that code. I still haven't used it. And all that stuff. But, yeah. Still 10 bucks. 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Oh, this is nice. This little uh, Griffin multi-tool, little pocket multi-tool. Not really a multi-tool like a folded. Koban, no eating plastic. And no crinkling plastic. It's really loud. But, yeah, this little, this little puppy right here. If it'll focus, there we go. You got the little wrench set again on that. Little flat head part there. Little bottle opener part there. Little screwdriver part there. Another wrench part there. Thing. I don't know. Pretty nice little thing. This also this is a, like a $20, $25 little item by itself. So this is you know, a very high value can for the uh, things that come in it. Especially since, you know, all the stuff I've shown you other than the key bar was just part of what's considered the $30 can. And this is already, like, most of the value of a $30 can already. Uh, eh. Ah, we got an EDC sticker. It's your knife, your gun, and your hand grenade. You know, just in case you're wandering along and there happens to be a large group of angry people coming at you who just won't you know, disperse or anything, and they're coming right at you, and you got no other choice. Hey, you gotta make sure you have your grenade on you. That's the only way out in that situation. You know it. And a little box here. Ah, yes. This, another little uh, multi-tool kind of thing. This is supposed to go on a key, on a key chain, like this sheath surround the key, even though you have to remove the key from it in order to use it, or the key. Which is kind of confusing. But, it's like a key shaped little thing, and yeah, this is, uh, we already got several little things like the griffin and the little card tool, so this is kind of more of the same, but this is by itself like two bucks, and if it's to have this with it as well, or just not have it, yeah, may as well have a little extra thing in there. Not bad. And, uh, yeah, that's the can. But, like I said, I got the Mega Man up, and this is what you get 
with a Mega Man up. So, yeah, this, if I could. There we are. Nice little case it comes in, too, honestly. Oh, this puppy right here. is a nice custom IRAC Veteran 8888 D2 steel pocket knife. Pretty good size, too. And, let's see, how do you... Hmm. Okay, I don't know how to get it to close. I've never had this kind of design. Well, I'm... Did it come with a, a manual? I'll figure it out. Ah, but, yeah, it's a pretty nice little custom design to it. A lot of people are calling it a pocket cleaver, and I can see why. Now, they also are saying, you know, it comes super sharp, and I wanted to see exactly how sharp. I wanted to test that. So I got myself some paper and my other knives. So you get this cheap-ass little uh, Coleman from Walmart. Coban, get back, get back, get back. Cats, jeez. Little cheap-ass Coleman from Walmart. Not really doing anything. Oh, I have two pieces of paper. That doesn't help, but still. All right. Ripping a bit, that's not so good. And I got this. So, my little, uh, boker. It's not the greatest, but it does do the paper cut. So, with that in mind, Koban, get back! Jeez! Koban, jeez, you're, you're really, you're really not making this easy. So with that in mind, ah, oh, jeez, cats. You're really, really making this hard. Koban, so you got this. And he said, this comes wicked sharp. I have no idea. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty sharp. And it's D2 steel, so it's going to hold the edge very well. And on top of that, oh, my legs. <sighs> oh, okay, that's how I close it up. Okay, okay, so, got like that, and just, you know, like there, and then, like, pull that, and from there, and slide that back closed. Okay, okay. It's got the little belt clip there, nice. Oh, but yeah, this uh, kind of thing, a D2 pocket knife of, you know, this kind of size, all that, this would generally run, I was looking up D2 pocket knives with this kind of opening system and what have you, and it was looking like the cheapest you would be going would be about $100 for that knife itself, and that was in the can, the, the whole can cost 100 so, yeah, this is definitely a high-value kind of thing with a whole lot of different... A whole lot of different... Oh! Things! Yeah, let me just try and... Jeez, cat, don't attack the knives. It's not smart. Koban. Koban. Use... Huh. Anyway. Trying to get the big value assessment together. Because... Okay. Okay. Here we go. So we got... Our soap. About... Ten bucks for the fight soap. Then we got that, like fifteen dollars right there. So that's twenty-five dollars of value right there. Now I got the Griffin. That's that's like another twenty dollars right there. So that's forty-five dollars so far <laughs> in the uh, thirty-dollar can total value. Then we got the ten dollars worth off of Freedom Munitions, and then a whole bunch of percentages off in all the other little cards and stuff. And then you got like a couple bucks there, and you got stickers and patch. And all that stuff. All very nice things. And you're getting like to the 50 or $60 range in the total value in the $30 can. Really nice. And then you got $60 can includes the key bar, which is $45 for the little aluminum key bar, which, you know, for 30 bucks more for that can. Really nice. And then, of course, you got the frickin' knife. The frickin' knife. You gotta appreciate the frickin' knife. Man, this unboxing was a lot 
harder than it had to be. Goban, don't play with knives. It's not safe. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's one thing I didn't test. Ow, Koban, jeez. Why are you so playful today? Okay, I didn't test how well this knife does. Yeah, it's... It's more of a serrated knife anyway, so... It's... It does better than my uh, Coleman Walmart knife. But, yeah. Still, nice little couple of things. Very good for the theme. A lot of very useful things in there. And I'm very happy with the new knife. Very happy with that. Very heavy. <laughs> that is nice. <sighs> so, yeah. Also, really should mention, working on actually starting an actual, like, firearms-focused channel, like ballistics, like the whole mathematics of shooting and stuff, the part that I am personally interested in. So, any future Man Can unboxings will likely be on that channel. As of this recording, that channel does not exist yet. But, working on getting that going, may leave a link to it in the description after the channel exists. May forget about that entirely. May get this cat and poke him. Poke, poke the cat. Should poke the cat. Get bitten. Koban, what is with you? You playing with the griffin? You a silly cat. <laughs> oh man. These unboxings have not been getting any easier. Especially as Koban keeps getting bigger and bigger. So, until next time.